Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin report for Thursday, April 21. And you probably won't like me very much because we're looking at, um, at different possibilities. So this has been a triangle pattern that's been here for quite some time. Um, the uh, pattern for here really is just the A, the B, the C, the D and the E wave here for wave four and then moving up at that point. We're not seeing a lot of volume support this uh, section uh, here. So um, yeah, there's a possibility that we can have more downside uh, for this. Um, in terms of, we'll take a closer look at all of this and how this moves up into that particular point there. This is a two day chart, the stochastics are sort of clicking over here. So we should see some sort of rally, how far it will go will be another uh, another point. Um, the um, This Bitcoin has been following the equity market, so we're going to sort of also tune the S&P and maybe a big stock into this particular area through here with this. There's another way to look at this particular triangle pattern that we've looked at as well, which is the with the A, B, C, D, and an A, B, C, D, E here for, for, so the D wave already being in place here, that's a possibility, a little bit shy of our target area up here. Uh, once again, uh, on this is a three day chart, lagging a little bit here on this, but certainly sort of, you know, but you know, you look at these indicators and, you know, I know that when, when um <laughs> when an ind indicator will be you know when a market's making and com coming up here making a new top the indicator is going to tell you that it's over uh subscribed and it'll just start to flatline is like it's just doing here when they come and test new lows they'll also be doing the same and so every high and low these indicators are going to give you that so you don't really even need to look at them so the fact that it's down here testing previous lows is the fact that it's you know the uh, the pendulum is is swinging uh the ratios are extending and um so on stretching so so there's these two triangle counts. There's, um, what else is there in here? There's this more bearish count here. I suppose we could look at this. So in this case here, we can look at this as an A wave here, B wave here. Once again, a little bit short of the high here. It's possible to count that down as five waves, which we've been doing this move down here. We've been counting it down as five waves um, on the uh, on the indices, uh, we'll take a closer look at that. But in the bigger picture here for the weekly chart, just looking at it like this here. So uh, an A wave here, a B wave up here, and then looking down at one and two and three and four and five moving down further. So we can't rule that out uh, just yet. Um, but this type of count, we can start to go on to the intraday now and have a look at uh, these particular counts. So. Uh, from from the top here, um, in this instance here, we can look at this as one and two and three and four and five. It's interesting on the twelfth of a, the, this, looking at it like this here as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here, because these markets are following the equity markets, we're seeing this sort of pattern show up uh, in the indices. So. Um, we can look at the S&P 500 here, for example, and count this down as one, two, three, four, five here, and looking at it as an A wave and ABC for the B wave and looking for one more move up here. So uh, in the indices, we're looking for a little move up into here. Now with the, with the S&P 500 here and the DAX and all the rest of them are doing pretty much the same thing in one way or another. We don't know if, I don't know rather, if this whole move down here is wave one here and we're going back for wave two over here. So what I will be looking for to, to work out if we're going to be going long or short in the indices is a classic trading levels pattern on here because this is the 50-60% retracement level from the high to the lows here. And that means that um, uh, tested support on this level here would give us... Um, would give us the uh, 
the long trade to the upside. So we'll be looking for, we've got the arrival, the reaction. We're moving up, we're about here at the moment. If we move up and finish the fifth wave off here, because it's normally the third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave with this particular classic trading levels pattern one here, uh, the most common pattern. So we need to wait for that high to play out. Then we'll look for the ABC pattern and we'll look for a long trade above here, but we can go to the second high here. And then in this little area here will be a fractal of this bigger pattern in here so we'll have the arrival here the reaction the first high above the level the ABC pattern so we can look to go long at this point here but if we're going to be on the short side well then it's not going to trigger up here it's going to come to this point here and fail and move down we'll be looking for the short trade so this 4500 on the S&P is going to be the line in the sand and if Bitcoin is following the equity markets which you know pretty much is <laughs> then um, then we can pretty much do the same as well with that. You know, and the thing that's driving these patterns uh, here, this is the 12th, 13th of, um, of April here, this low here. So when we look at, obviously the indices are being ruled by stock. So when we start having a look at stock and Amazon is a big one here, um, we can look at this low here on the 12th and 13th of, um, of April. And we can see a nice A, B and C pattern here for this for wave two. So we're just looking for a little, it looks like an impulse wave down here. We're looking for a bit of a rally. If it takes out this low here, then Amazon's going to be one of the leaders in the bear market to the downside. It's not just going to be a leader because like um, Google's got the same pattern here as well, slightly different. Um, yeah, there's lots of stocks that have got their own sort of way of looking at this. But, you know, you need to ask ourselves, is this way one and two here and one and two here? And we're going to be making new highs up here. If we go above the 3150 here and get classic trading levels pattern here and get support, well, then we will be long from this point. But if this just rallies to here and then moves down here, then it's moved through the 61.8% retracement level in this box here from that high to that low to that high here. So then it's going to be bearish at that point. So if Amazon's going to be bearish, well then, you know, everything else is going to be pretty much bearish as well. So we can look at Bitcoin being bearish in that case. So with the S&P here, the A, the B and the C here, this is a critical area here. So we're going to, it's all going to come out in the wash very shortly for uh, for these markets. So looking at Bitcoin, just comparing them as an A and a B and a C here, um, you know, that it's viable at this point, you know, this counts as five waves here to the to the upside here. The other point here, it hasn't really reached its uh, retracement level here. So we can look at the, you know, if Bitcoin sort of pulls its finger out a bit and moves up here, well, then we could also look at this from the low here as quite simply as an A wave here. B wave here and if it moves along a little bit put a C wave here and still have this ABC pattern here as a corrective rally as an A and a B and a C wave here for this. So we're not out of the woods just yet but we're getting to a point you know where we're sort of nailing it down a little bit it's just on um, if I go to um, What's this here? This is this is part of the triangle pattern. Looking at this as wave B here, and looking at this as wave one here, and then wave two here, and then going up for wave three. So, as I mentioned, we could get five waves to here and fail, or we can get if we're going to be bullish. This is the other thing here too. Um, <laughs> we can look at wave three here for this. Um, wave three, of course, would take us higher than this sixty-one point eight percent mark here. Um, if we look at this here, we'll probably look at this in a bit more detail. Let's just go to the 100 ticks. So I'm still sorting it out. I don't really have any answers just yet for things, but I do know that things are working themselves into a corner and they'll need to come out of that corner, you know. So from the low here, we can look at it as one and two here, then one and two and one, two, three, four, five here for third wave, fourth and fifth wave here for the third, the fourth and the fifth. We can look at um, this here as five waves, one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four, five for the A wave and the B wave and the C wave a little bit short here. We could probably also look at this as the B wave over here. We could look at, um, it's just a bit of a long shot, but it's kind of 
okay to shoot the brief. There's nothing else really to talk about at this point. Um, we could look at this as an ABC pattern coming into here for wave C here. Um, as, and then have wave C over here for this. So this is kind of the same pattern that we've been looking at. This is one, this is uh, one, two, three, four, five up here. So this is one and two and three and four and five up here. So we could get up to here, the 50, 60% retracement level here, or say 41, eight, it's always, the 800 is always a nice number. In fact, when we're working in this area here, it's group two. So we can have a look at 650 here which will be the lower end of group two so 41 650 close enough for the time being and then the 72 number 41 72 so all of this will be resistance area in here it's just a little group two in terms of the trading levels so from 4100 to 4200 we can count um we can count the fibonacci sequence so we go 100 2 so one two three and then five and then eight but when we talk about eight we talk about group two six just nailing it down even further there there's a there's a few little levels in here that um we can bring into the picture but it doesn't really matter at this particular point but as one two three four and five here that could turn and fold here but with the s p 500 moving uh higher then it's likely that um i'll just copy that it's likely to be um moving up from this particular point here so we can look at this five wave sequence here as being up here as wave one or wave a at this point and then wave two back to here or pulling back to here and then still moving up so we can only really turn bearish if this number here next becomes the resistance at this point and we need to understand what resistance is as well. It needs to retest. So uh, this moves through here. This is like the breakout. This is the retest. But the retest never failed. If it failed, move down here from that point, retesting, then we could have looked to go on short here or here and those sorts of cases. So on the bearish side, we need to look at something like this. So the the breakout is not, you know, is not the trend. It's the retest that's important. And this will be on increased volume and this will be on decreased volume. But you take that low here, then the second low and then you move through. A lot of times in most of this is trading classic levels two here. But number one is the most common where it goes back above the level here and then comes down again here. So that would look like this here. So it would come through the level, retest it, go back above the level, and then this here will be a fractal of all of that pattern in here, and then down from that point. So you need to wait for the retest. Uh, I'm just saying on that because somebody questioned me before about this is this has become the resistance here, the 40. It's not the resistance because it hasn't been checked. It needs to be checked. Everything needs to be checked. And once you once you sort of get that, then uh, then you can take your trading to another level. Um, so yeah, I mean, in a nutshell, we have five waves here, so we can push higher and make another five up here. But will it be wave one, two, and three, or will it be the A, the B, and the C here coming back to the sixty-one point eight percent correction here, just on this here? So. Yeah, we're getting there. I mean, look, this is a pretty complicated pattern in here and you can label it in different ways. I, I totally understand that. But uh, we're just really waiting for it to, you know, finish and we just keep chipping away at it. Um, but it will move with equities. So if we see Amazon move lower, then you, you know where we are at that point. So this would be down here. And also too, I could say to you that Let's just say for a moment that, just shooting the breeze here, that this move up here takes out the top here. As soon as that takes out the top there, then you've got yourself a short trade set up on this low here, which will be over here at that point. Because if this moves back down and overlaps this five wave structure here, then that will be the short trade. So you can get a position above this level and then below the level because we'll be going lower at that point. So we can't put that there just yet, but I can shift it over to here. Um, it would need to it would need to make take that high out here first. So in the meantime, you can look for five waves up to the 50, 60 percent level up here. Um, we'll see how that. Um, how that plays out. And there may be shorter term resistance just in here as we looked at at 41,800. 
and come down here first and then move off. So it doesn't really matter. It's all just, you know, splitting hairs at this moment. We don't have a confirmed trend at the moment with all of this. So we just need to see how how it all plays out. It's um, it, in a bit of a nutshell. We're not we're not there yet, you know. But really, all of this here has got to be part of a triangle pattern um, or it's just corrective, you know. You can squeeze an impulse wave out of this, especially on the altcoins. Um, and yeah, that can be can be like that. But yeah, um, <laughs> it's just not there just yet, you know. The only other way, the only, the only short term trip, round trip on this here is coming back to our um three day chart here for this so making it a little bit smaller here with some sort of a b and c wave in here and then then this would also be in um the corrective move at that point too many objects on the chart so that would be the the shortest route to a bullish pattern at this particular point in time with this market so we're not out of the woods yet with all of this. So there's still there's still more uh, frustration and patience to be had with all of this market. So anyway, just uh, it is what it is, and uh, we just need to be patient with it. But you know, as a bullish market, like I said, we're not seeing a lot of volume come into this into this area here. You know, it's all on lower volume. Um, you know, I don't particularly trust the volume on this particular platform but um, you can see here that this is all low volume and corrections are on low volume you know so um, most people know a triangle pattern um, and triangle patterns are on low volume all corrections are on lower volume Alrighty, um, I'll just leave it at that. So look, not a lot to be done. I'm not even going to call any trades or anything for, for all of this. We just need to be a little bit patient. And I think that the, the answer will come from the equity markets before it comes from the Bitcoin market. So keep an eye on, on Amazon because that will be a little key indicator of what Bitcoin's going to do. Okay, cheers.